welcome back to the vlog. It's Thursday. I just got back from our sculpt class, got dressed. That said, this is definitely off season life because I am moving like slow, you know. When you don't have much to do, it takes a long time. I wanted to show you my outfit of the day. I really liked it. Um, trying out these new, like, they're called horseshoe style jeans because they kind of bow out on the sides. Um, these are from the brand Driftwood. I rented these on Newly. I had a belt, a little black uh, leather belt with this outfit originally, but I'm going to be sitting most of the day, so I just didn't really feel like I needed it. Um, but imagine a black belt there. It looked even better. Um, and then rocking like a nice little fun eclectic mix of silver and gold jewelry. I am loving that trend right now. Metal mixing is a thing. Um, loving that because I really like both. I had like a strong silver phase in college and then went to gold and now I like both, especially with like rings and stuff. So like this piece that Chris got me a few years ago is supposed to be like a little cobblestone and it's mostly silver, but there's a few little gold specks in there. So I feel like it brings everything together, which is fun. Um, so yeah. that because I haven't done that in like you know two weeks I think that's the most colorful sense that we've gotten um, literally two weeks because it's been on stock gray um, but then just want to do the stop and shop because I'm on the second day of my period and I need some chocolate had no cookies or treats or anything my I, I adhered too much to my grocery list for the first time in my life and bought no snacks. So had to fix that. Have some great strawberry centric snacks coming up. I will show you when I get home. All right, I am home and I wanted to show you a mini grocery snack haul. First, if you know me, you know I love all things strawberry. So I was very excited. Our grocery store does not normally have these this kind, but I love these uh fruit snacks and the fact that they had the all strawberry perfect so i bought two boxes and then i was like oh color me interested the reese's hearts like whatever festive reese's shape i'm interested um and then i saw these i feel like this is my time of year because everything's strawberry flavored for valentine's day and i love it um Hershey's had these cute little hearts strawberry cream, which is very promising. I recently got the um, Hershey's Kisses with like a strawberry center and they were really good, but I like this ratio. It's a little bit bigger than the Hershey's Kisses. So that was good. And then this is what I knew I wanted, the Sweet Lorenz um, cookies. And I knew I wanted the, the double chocolate. Um, and then last but not least, I wanted a fun fizzy drink. So I got the classic. I feel like this is such a good OG flavor and it always has the right amount of like fizz to it. Um, yep, yeah, that was it. Uh, just some strawberry snacks on a Thursday night. You know what, actually, let's do a taste test of the Hershey's strawberry cream hearts for reference. I'm like, I don't know if that's a good size reference. It's like the size of my nose. Looking good. Mm-hmm. Strong, sharp. It could use a tiny bit more of the strawberry filling for me, but very good. Flavor is on point. Chris, uh, what are we eating tonight? Uh, we're eating uh, some potato leek soup and some baked and twice baked potatoes made by the uh, Nantucket High School Culinary Club. Thank you, Chef Proach and the gang. And your salad. Meow, meow, meow. Um, avid watchers will know that this is the salad that made me famous at Thanksgiving. And by that I mean, I just talked about it the whole time. So, it's really good. 
Hello, happy Friday. I'm gonna sound like a broken record, but it is another very gloomy day. Wowie, wow, wow, wow. It is gray as could be, and it's kind of chilly in here, and the vibes are just kind of off. So right now I'm currently on a project of vibe recalibration. Um, part of that was like tidying up a little bit. I had to, you know, make my food and everything, but I, you know, I feel like the, the deck is clear and now I have to, you know, calibrate. So that means I, I'm like out of a lot of my, like, I feel like my favorite podcasts are not like producing as much and which is valid. Um, but I'm like, I need new content <laughs> to like listen to. And I like to listen to podcasts and like learn stuff. So A, if you have any great podcasts that you love, please drop them below. I love learning some facts, I love funny. It takes me a while to get into a podcast, so you have to like really sell me on it, okay? Cause I want to get into a new podcast, but it just like, it's like starting a new TV show. I love to re-listen to things I already like. So help me, help me, help me in the comments, please. Like. Tell me about your favorite podcast. Tell me why it's amazing. Really sell me on it. I need I need help. Um, but anyways, so I need to find something to listen to and really just like vibe out with. Um, I'm really trying to figure out the lighting right now because our space is very bright and white, which I love, but in the gray, it looks kind of, you know, it's not full yet, which is great, but she needs some warmth. And I don't like the overhead lights right now because I just don't, and I could use some more lamps. I know I just bought a lamp, but I don't have a place to put it. Anyways, I am rambling, but I'm gonna, I gotta figure out the vibe before I sit down and do a bunch of work. I just wanna feel like good. I have a little latte going. Um, I might make my little tonic beverage as well. Cause I feel like a drink is an important part of a vibe, <laughs> but I need to figure out the smell situation. I gotta put on a candle. I lit some candles. I gotta figure out the lighting. I gotta, I'm angsty, okay? Okay, vibe update. I did some like light tidying, some surface cleaning, and then I made this weird little altar thing with some candles and a plant and just some flowers. Things I had like laying around just so I could look at when I'm on my computer. And I put on some of the smaller lights, um, including this Ikea orb that I love. Um, I love a small lamp. I'd like to find more like little lamps to put places because I like that little glow coming from the kitchen. Um, so we've recalibrated and <laughs> I finished my latte so I'm gonna make another drink that I can sip while I do my work. And I'm feeling, I'm feeling better. Okay, it's nighttime. The lighting right now is working for me. We've got some cozy candlelight going on. I look pink, I think because of the pink flowers. Um, anyways, I'm baking my pizza again. <laughs> um, so yeah, cutting up my moths, drinking my kombucha. These flowers that my mom gave me last week are still going strong and Chris gave me this really cute bouquet um, that I put in this cute little vase, my little vibe shrine, which I really think did the trick for me. Watching candles flicker while you're doing computer work, highly recommend. All right, this is round three, estate sale. How would you rank it in our previous estate sale? It was a good one. It had a little bit of everything. This time, I would say this is the best of the three. Yeah, you, you I'm excited to show you guys what I got. I went in with the mindset of like, I will be buying a piece of furniture today. I'm willing to. Right. I'm willing to. And they had some great little side tables. Yep, They're, and that's were, what I needed. You were spoiled for choice. I was, and I'm excited to show you what I got. I'm gonna show you what I got from the sale. This very cute mug, perfect colors. This fun little floral soap dish. I love this kind of vintage picnic basket. This will be perfect for photo shoots. Um, and then this is the thing I think I'm most excited about, this side table, which you know I've been looking for. And then I'll move this so you can see. This adorable little chair I'll probably put in a corner somewhere for the vibes. I love this beautiful blue pillow. There was a lot of cool stuff there. Um, I felt like I had some good restraint, but Got some big treasures and little treasures. I got some travel goodies, so let's unbox them together. 
I have wanted to get these for a while now, um, but I feel like now is the time, especially as I'm traveling more with photography. Uh, just some air tags, nothing crazy, but these seem very useful. Uh, and then I got just some stupid, uh, like little keychain things to put them in um, so I can easily find them. All right, first up is packing cubes. I got this from Calpac. I've never shopped with them before. Um, these are bigger than I expected them to be. Okay, cool. Got some packing cubes. Um, my travel color palette is red, pink accents, and some light blue, and maybe a little bit of orange. Yeah, red, pink, blue, orange. Kind of matches my new water bottle. Um, all right, cool. It's a new red travel backpack. Here she is. Got a lot of clips, and or you can zip it out this way, which I feel like will be easier to pack. This brand, uh, Tole, just sent me this hat. I have no words. It's so good. It's like ah, perfect timing too, since I'm going to Minnesota. I I love it so much. This is like me in a hat kind of look like a little tomato in the best way <gasps> wait hold on this is can't lose me you'll never you'll never lose me so i don't leave until next wednesday but i decided i'm gonna start like packing my toiletries right now i got this bag from that brand fable i think i maybe it was on instagram but there's this really cute brand, Fable, that sent me some stuff. Um, it's this British brand, and I love this little, like, dop, is that what you call it? Dop kit? Little pouch. Um, so I figured I would, oh, do I use it? I can't decide if I should use this for my toiletries or for my makeup. It's all stocked. I just need to add the toothbrush when the time is right. That was so pretty. Um, it's been gray all day and then I saw like a little peak of sun coming out and we ordered pizza for our family to come over and do a game night and I was picking it up anyway. So I'm like, I'm gonna go a little early, check out the sunset and it was worth it. I kind of missed the exact sunset, but got there for the, the big colors. So that was really nice. And uh, yeah, it always hits. Oh my goodness. Pizza party. <laughs> Chris, what do you got? Show us what you have. This is a black hat. And everyone else thinks it's blue. I thought it was black when I took it off the shelf at work this summer. And I thought it was black. I've had two of them actually, and they've both been like black. All right, everyone, weigh in. Blue and white. Unfortunately, everyone else <laughs> thinks it's navy blue. So I'm not blue. Yeah, sound off. Sound off below. Below. Sound. Let us know. What color is this? I feel like I gotta find the right light. Yeah, that, that's that's true. Yeah, a pizza. Yeah, 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 for uh -huh. sure. Get yeah. that color. Yeah, you yeah, can yeah, see yeah. it. Yep. There we go. Well, for sure. Fuck me. Okay. All right. Okay. No Country for Old Men. Oh, oh. Sorry, you guys love that movie. Do. Oh, he loves that movie. Okay, he does. Well, yeah. Okay, it wasn't Shawshank Redemption, so we know it's not. It's not a hundred percent. I would say it's very close. Really? Okay, so he really likes that he, movie. It's yeah. A great movie. 
<gasps> yeah. You think it's maybe one notch more? You think he likes it that much? Does he talk about it? He it's on his list. It is. Okay. Let's do a little bit more. Then like, like a tiny bit more. Because he, he would say shocking. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Right yeah. I feel good about that. I think so. <laughs> do you want me to reveal? Yes, yeah. It's time to reveal. I don't know how I don't know how far you guys cranked it. <laughs> oh shit. <gasps> oh! Do we nail? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Hang on, this is adds a whole new element to the game. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> Wait, oh, it was that close to uh, where it well, was? No, it was, it was, it was probably like that. It was probably a two. It was a solid two pointer. Just being honest, dude, yeah, that yeah, was yeah, a yeah. solid two pointer. Yeah, for sure. Wow. It's the clue. It's the you know. It was a great clue. The whole one shot. Great team. One motion. Wow. Wow. One motion on the click. Yeah. One motion on the click. <laughs> wow. uh, oh I think my that's God. right wow. after the wow. right after the tri wow. right after the triglyceride talk. <laughs> right? I mean, Jesus yeah. Christ. All right, mom. What was what was the clue range? The clue range was soft, hard, uh, firm bed pillow. Okay. Are you ready to reveal? Oh, oh shit! Oh, shit. Oh, oh. That's a fourth. Back to back fourth. Oh. Oh, wow. We just hit back to back four. Oh, wow. Oh, oh shit, we just hit back to back four. Guys. Wow, wow. wow. damn. You were gonna go oh, another way and more. I I think I'm gonna get the, where is it? Yeah, the goat cheese toast with the scrambled eggs and I'll probably get a side of the uh, potato pancake. <laughs> It's Sunday night. I really didn't feel much at all today. As you saw, I went to brunch with my mom, but then this afternoon I went to <laughs> lunch with, so really been, had a lot of lunch today. Um, and then I went to lunch with Mackenzie and my friend Marley. Um, and yeah, we ended up staying there for hours talking so that was kind of my whole day which was great um but we were also in the darkest possible quarter of this restaurant so incredibly dark nothing to film um but that is where i have been today um taking it easy i'm gonna try to get ahead of a little bit of my work tonight so i can you know get a jump on things this is like the worst month I could possibly resolve to change my morning routine because I think I'll be here for a total of a week, but I am very determined to reset my phone and screen time. It's been out of control and I just haven't even tried to like work on it. So I really am like just trying to create some rituals and routines that makes it easy. So I'm not like, I just feel like I do a lot of things by default instead of being intentional and I think I could actually just change the default to being intentional if that makes sense. I don't need to rant too long about this because we've all been there but my goal for my morning routine is to not be on my phone um, until after I get back from my workout. Um, so I think I can do it. I'll report back. My screen time right now is atrocious. I'm not even going to say it because I'm literally that embarrassed. That said, I do watch some YouTube videos on my phone, so I know that's still screen time, but I'm like not, I don't know. I'm just making excuses. I really am, it's not good. All right, I wanted to give you an updated like mini house tour. I feel like there's a lot to be done, but I just thought it'd be fun to kind of mark this moment in time. This is what it looks like in February of 2024. It'll be fun to come back to. Um, just like how I feel like when I look at photos from when we just moved in, I was like, oh wow, we have done, you know, lots of things. Um, and it'll be cool to see it keep evolving. Uh, we've been decorating very slow, trying to be intentional, and also just like furniture is expensive, so, and annoying to ship to Nantucket, so we're taking our time. Uh, you know, I have visions of things, but I also wanna be, you know, just, I don't feel like there's any rush. So with all of that, let me show you what the house looks like in uh, February of 2024. The view, when you walk in through the door, you see the living room, and then it opens up into the kitchen. Just wanna note, this is my prized collection of pillows. <laughs> and then you walk in, and here's our little dining room table nook. 
lots of plants. This uh, painting is from my granddad. I, I love this thing. It just makes me feel so nostalgic. I grew up at looking at this and my mom was so kind to, you know, let us um, have it in our house. Oh, another cool thing too. I have a piece of my mom's art, this beautiful fish print, and then my stepdad um, did this painting. So it's really special to have pieces of my family's art. I also want to show you this little table. This was like one of the first thing piece of furniture I bought and I loved it. I love like little terrazzo tabletop. I just, we love her. So cute. This I got at a estate sale, um, which I believe I show you. Um, oh, and I am obsessed with this shell pillow. I had wanted one of these forever, so was very excited to add that to our collection. Um, a lot of the furniture, like this table and chair, um, and then also this like media stand is from Article. I'm not sponsored by them, but <laughs> would love to be because I, I feel like they are my favorite um, furniture brand that I've shopped with so far. Really easy to put together, really sturdy. I love them, so if you're in the market. Um, this is our little kitchen. Um, you saw me collect a lot of these little pieces. I do get lots of questions about this little lamp. This was like a rare home goods score. Um, so I, I lucked out with that one. Um, my mom got me, I think I showed you this, this like little cookbook stand recently and I love it. It's so useful. And I love having a little piece of art in the corner there. I'll probably add to that collection. This is our little entryway. And this is just a little um, corner bathroom here, half bath, um, completely undecorated. There is not a piece of art to be seen. Oh, speaking of family art, my dad painted this um, lovely cactus. This is a print from a much bigger piece. Here's a view of the kitchen if you're walking through the side door. I love these little light fixtures. We got these ones from Target and that one from Anthropology. I feel like these ones are just so fun and that one kind of reminds me of a coffee filter or like a sea urchin. <laughs> All right, and then right off the living room, this is my office. It is a little cluttered right now. Again, I probably need more storage for this is like where all my gear is. Um, and then these are all the paintings that we plan to hang up. This is a beautiful piece that my stepdad did. Um, and then this is like my favorite little art corner. The one shelf, my one knickknack shelf I do have. I love this one with my little salty guys. All right, then let's go upstairs. Again, I think it'd be fun to like hang some art on the wall here or paint this little entryway, but that is a job for another day. This is our bedroom. This is my little like TikTok setup in that corner. This is where I just put that little side table I showed you. And then you can see this is our cozy bed with the nautical art wall that's where I put the lamp and chair from this past weekend's estate sales I love it fits like perfectly here's my little mirror that I do my outfit pics in a lot the whole YouTube video on this but here is my walk-in closet I had um, Molly from heart and co help me design this whole system so it has been amazing to have this much space and this much organization for all my clothes. <laughs> this is our bathroom. You know the tub well. <laughs> and then right around the corner is the shower. That's pretty much it. We have an unfinished ba basement where we have storage and Chris has some of his stuff. Um, and yeah, then you know, eventually we'll really decorate the guest room and this room is almost done. There's some like little finishing pieces that I think would add to it. I would say this bedroom and like the living room are probably in the kitchen are probably the most finished. Um, definitely the wall with the TV. I'd like to hang more art so it's not so empty or paint it a color. Um, I, I do want to paint in different places eventually, but I just don't know what I want yet, so I'm not hurried at all. I definitely think 
my office needs more shelving and more organization um but yeah this is our, our little home so i just thought i'd share i had some folks asking about like doing a little tour so i wanted to show you around where it is right now um and yeah hopefully it'll keep uh keep growing with us and evolving Thanks.